So, it's time for our weekly segment. We're finally, we've been putting it off for like three months for various reasons. But it's time for our Metacritic Draft updates, everybody. Uh, So, for those of you who are new, at the beginning of the year, we chose five games for our Metacritic Draft. And uh, whoever has the highest score at the end of the year wins a prize. Um, And whoever loses, well, you lose. Mm -hmm. Uh, So halfway through the year, well, we were planning on doing it quarterly this year, but uh, it seems that we are doing it halfly. I feel this is better, though, because let's face it, we don't have the flood of games that last year brought. (laughs) Sure we do. We had a ton of games this year. We have a ton of games. What are you talking about? We have a ton of games this year, but not as a ton as last year. Hmm. 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 Last year was stacked. This year is stacked. Speaking of stacked, let's see where we all stand. So, Pat, you went first. You went first this year. Yeah. Because you did not participate last year because you joined late. Yep. Tell us about your scores, Pat. Well, like we all assumed, Final Fantasy Rebirth was not going to get anything lower than a 90, and it stood at a 92. So that one, you know, was a give me. But also, uh, the one that I said was probably going to be a surprise hit on a new IP, Unicorn Overlord, got me at 89. Paper Mario Thousand Year Door Remake, I said was going to be stellar because people... A lot of people liked it originally, and they were looking forward to this. Uh, got an 88. And then Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons remake, was probably my most disappointing at a 79, as most people claim that this was a game that did not need to be remade. Yeah. I mean, remake to be fair, it probably to... didn't need to be remade, but also it's true. it wasn't a bad remake, I guess, you know? Yep. So that brings me up to 348 points. Ooh, spicy. And uh, your fifth game did not have a score because nope. it is not out yet. But it will be. Black Myth Wukong. That game is like insanely good looking. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, well, since I came in last place last year, I went second this year. Uh so right now, my standings are Destiny 2 The Final Shape is sitting at a 92 on Metacritic on PC, which uh, just to inform everybody out of all the consoles slash systems slash whatever they come out on, we give the person the highest score regardless of what they played it on. So uh, Destiny 2 The Final Shape is sitting at a 92. Uh, Persona 3 Reload is sitting at an 87. Uh, Helldivers 2, which might be one of the bigger surprises of the year, is sitting at an 82. And Senua Saga Hellblade 2, I'm shocked that the meta score is this high after all the negative talk around it. Um, because initially it seemed like people liked it. And then once it came out, it seemed like people hated it. And so I thought the meta score was going to go down. But it is sitting at an 80. Uh, and then my fifth game, Star Wars Outlaws, is not out yet. But I'm hearing pretty not good things about that game. What? Game, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, I'm hearing a lot of people who went into preview the game saying it's, it's not amazing. It's not blowing them away. Mm-hmm. Uh, it doesn't matter. It's still my second most anticipated game of the year. Uh, but I'm sitting at 341 points. Ooh. Uh, I'm coming for you, Pat. I'm coming for you. Yep. It was that brother that did me in. Yep. Yep, yep. So, Stephanie, you came in second place last year, so you are up next. Yeah, and, uh, well, neither of you guys have to worry about me, because I'm at (laughs) 319 at the moment. Total points with um, Tekken 8 being my highest scoring game so far at a 90. Uh, Pacific Drive at a 79. And, you know, I try going the strong Nintendo route, but uh, these titles have kind of 
uh, let me down a little bit with Mario vs. Donkey Kong at a 76 and Princess Peach Showtime at 74. So mm. there's that. And then my last game uh, was confirmed to release later this year. It's just not out yet, and that's Stalker 2. I think Stalker 2 will give you some major points. I feel like that game's going to be... It looks pretty stellar. Yeah, I, I agree. Think, I think that game's going to score in the low to mid-90s. The game's got some heavy Metro uh, Metro vibes, like Metro yeah. Exodus vibes. Yeah, but this was Metro before Metro, and I think a lot of people are really going to... Especially because that original tri- like the original trilogy just came out somewhere, um, and people seem to really be digging it. So, um, don't worry, Stephanie. I feel like you're gonna bounce. Get a back. strong second half. Yeah, it's all good. Laron, you're up. You won last year, so you went last this year. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and uh, and it definitely shows because like you guys. You whoa, guys whoa, whoa. Are, hold you on, guys hold on a minute, up. though. What, what? You, you mm, okay, so your score says something different. I get it. But also, you have two games that haven't come out yet this year. I have two games that haven't come out yet, and there's a part of me now that's wondering if I should like, add, uh, like, like call an audible and remove one game and like, and, and like replace it with something else. Um, Can um, we do that? <laughs> I don't know if we I don't know if we set a rule like I don't know if we we set a rule like that you know like if uh if, if, if you know if there's a chance that a game that we want to do a do over on one of our games that has not actually released yet I'm not sure if there's a rule or if, or if there's going to be something like that but it, anyway like so yeah so here's the here's the funny part though like the games that I have are actually are actually solid games they're just they just they just are not doing like the numbers like compared to like what where poor where Pat and Corey are are like going you know because um i picked like a dragon infinite wealth and that game was i i don't know if i went off the emotion of that game because like everybody wanted that game and somehow oh i actually know what the scandal of the new game plus thing hurt this game hmm. the scandal because it because it, it's got a high score though it's an 89 on there but i guarantee you it was probably going to be in a solid like 90s game you know um, but yeah, like review bombs have been happening and stuff like that, you know, like, and, and, you know, like once, like, once like people were actually, once like actual, like the people who actually like do the, like actually put the aggregate scores in for Metacritic, like the, well, the ones actually get claimed, like it said at 89. So yeah, now dragon's dog, dog dogma two surprised me. I thought it was going to be higher than an 86. I'm not, I'm not mad that's an 86, but I thought it'd be higher than an 86, you know, stuff like that. Rise of the Ronin was kind of a Hail Mary of, of mine because, like, I had to go into scramble mode based off of, like, uh, picks of mine that were definitely, like, snatched. Like, for example, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth was snatched. Black Myth Wukong was snatched. <laughs> um, no, you uh, could have gotten Myth Wukong. Well, <laughs> no, actually, I couldn't. You know, no, I couldn't. No, I couldn't. I might have picked that. Uh, Tekken 8 and Mario versus Donkey Kong were, were snacks, just, you know, and stuff like that. So I had to, so I had to pick some, so I had, so I kind of did a desperation pick, which was Rise of the Ronin. And I say desperation pick because like I was going to pick it, but I had to like pick it when I picked it because like other stuff, like at this point, because we did this Metacritic, what, back in February? uh last week of january early february somewhere in there yeah so so like so like things were things were shaky at that point you know like there was a lot of games on the list and stuff like that there's also a lot of to be announced games on there and so like i picked rise of the ronin because like rise of the ronin had a set date and it did not get delayed and everything so so i wound up with 76 which you know honestly is not bad but you know thank god thank god you know a a company that was not ea made this game because 76 means there's no sequel (laughs) <laughs> that's uh yeah it's true mm-hmm. and then so uh and then so the other two games are out there in the wings for me right now is the wolf among us too which the wolf among us has a cult following and i actually had i actually have the original wolf among us i have it for the ps i had it for the ps vita and i still have my cartridge and stuff like that and it's still one of the best games i played on that system um so yeah like uh i i'm not saying that's a safe bet for me but it is a it is a bet that i have confidence in is you know the same team that that did the original is doing it you know even though like that the telltale games team is like basically i don't know like they they're like the phoenix that rises from the ashes like because this is they've been they've been smited like three times now and they keep coming back you know um and then there's metal gear solid delta snake eater which 
is something. I'm not moving that off the list. <laughs> I'm not. I have a because I just read I just read the um, interview with the uh, with one of the lead developers for that game, and uh, and you know, and I can tell I can tell that you know like he's paying attention to everything that's been said, especially after like the whole summer game fest thing. He's paying attention to it, and he also and he also knows that you know like there's a lot of mistrust with Konami and not so much their their development team. There's a lot of mistrust with Konami about how like about how like they're handling Metal Gear and stuff like that. So I haven't lost faith in it. And Metal Gear Metal Gear Solid 3 is one of those games that I didn't appreciate when it originally came out on the PS2 back in the day. But when they when they did the Metal Gear Solid uh, Master Collection that um they that basically had like Metal Gear Solid 2 and 3 like in um in in a in a remaster form. That was when I finally played Metal Gear Solid 3, and it's one of my favorite Metal Gear Solid games ever. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so yeah, all that being said, I am currently in last place mm. with no hope of redemption at 251 points. I'm I'm gonna lose this Metacritic draft. Like it it doesn't matter. It it doesn't matter, you know, like any if any of my picks. Like I I'd have to pick five I'd have to pick five one hundred score tonight to to beat everybody at this point. Well, you know, you know the run. There's always next year. No, 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 <laughs> yeah, no game. No game has a perfect score on Metacritic. No game. Uh, yeah, that's fair. Uh, all right. So basically what we need to do now is fill five more spots with games that are coming out the rest of the year. Um, and then oh, so this is the last one. So this, we're, this is the last one. OK, we're, we're going to we're going to make it happen. So. uh Anything that has come out before July 2nd is ineligible. Anything that comes out over the course of the next six months minus a day is eligible. Pat, yes. you are on the clock. I am on the clock. Well, you can wait. Wait, stop. Clock. Stop. Pat's in first place right now. Why is he going first? Because we're still. No, no, no. It's that's not. No. How. No, he's going first. No, he didn't oh, participate no, oh, last year. We're ruled. going in the same oh, order that we went last time. N- n- no, <laughs> this sounds this sounds like a loser's trying to change the rules. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> but Loren, exactly you already that said that you're going to lose. So why are you trying to change it, Pat? I you are on the clock. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to lose by a freaking. I, I don't want to. I don't want to get spanked. I I, I want to make it a competition. I've gotten spanked three years in a row. <laughs> Pat, hey, you are you, on the clock. Hey, you sat back and took it. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Let's just piss off Laron right away and just go with metaphor. Ooh. Nice. Good pick. <laughs> um man. All right. So man, that was a quick when's, pick. When's, when's metaphor's release date? August something, right? Okay. I thought it was like October. Mm. Mm. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and um probably piss Stephanie off and pick Zelda nope. <laughs> Echoes nope. of Wisdom. <laughs> nope. Nope. Oh, man. Oh, there go there go two games off of my list. Mm. Thanks, Corey. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> oh, love you. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to go with... Hold on, where was it? I'm, I'm going to put down Astrobot. <clears throat> Nice. There's three games. <sighs> you know, Astrobot would have probably been my first choice, but I went with uh, Emotion on this one. Mm. Astrobot, though, I think is probably going to be the highest one out of every game that gets scored in the next six months. Mm. Oh, do you think it'll be Zelda? I think so. Okay. Fancy. Uh, Ron's thinking hard. I know. He's got to recover. He, Mario he and Luigi Brothership. Nice. Nice. All right. That is a good one. I hope that scores really well because, and I, I have not played Princess Peach and I haven't played Mario versus Donkey Kong, but in particular, I was disappointed that Mario versus Donkey Kong was only a 76. I hope that's not like. I don't understand why Mario vs. Donkey Kong scored that low, if we're being honest with you. And I don't know, maybe it's just my bias because it's one it's one of my favorite like offshoot Mario games. It's one it's of my favorite. Amazing. Yeah. 
this I game is, this game is great. I beat it, and I know there's a I know there's a second run that you that basically you get the true ending of the game. You know, uh, so the mm-hmm. fact that they, they the fact that they not only like like remade the game, but they actually technically made a new game plus that gives you like a, a real ending of the game. Like you know, like I don't understand. Like like what were these people? What were these people that scored at seventy six? What were they expecting? Yeah. Right. Right. It's a good game, though. Wait. Love that game. It is. It is. It is. I'm. I'm happy to say I beat the game. I didn't. I didn't complete the game, but I beat the game. <laughs> All right, Pat, you're up again. You know what? I'm gonna go out there with uh, my next choice. Out there. I'm gonna go with Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. Okay. Damn it! Just took another fucking. If we were going, if we were going by sales numbers, you would probably win that. <laughs> <laughs> Dragon Ball games sell. Uh, people have been hyping this one, so this I think this one's going to score good. I think we've got a winner on our hands. Um, dinner. All right, so my next game is going to be Assassin's Creed Shadows. Mm. Um, wow, number six. Mm. Uh, because that game looks awesome, and I think. All the people that are making fun of it right now are going to love it because that's how it works. Uh, hmm. Trying to be strategic here. My number two pick is going to be Visions of Mana. Ooh, Ooh, nice pick. Pretty. Good pick. Um, yeah, I've, you know, not only am I looking forward to it, but it's, you know, a big uh, franchise. Mm-hmm. And uh, well, I don't know. I just feel like there's really nothing extra to be said about this game already that you know we aren't already excited for. I'm sorry if that did not make any sense. <laughs> All right. All right, Leron, it's your turn now. Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D remake. Ooh, that was on my list. Good pick. Good, good pick. Mm-hmm. Oh man. Well, Pat, I guess we're I guess we're back to you, huh? Yep. Let's see which one of these do I want to go with. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. You know, what? I'm gonna go with Ace Attorney Investigations. Nice. Yeah, that was not on my bingo card. If that wasn't on your bingo card, wait till you p- hear my next one. So I, this is a game that I'm s- kind of, I'm like secretly looking forward to, and I haven't really talked about it because I don't know if any Pat might know about it because it's one of it looks like a Pat game. Ooh. Um, but that uh, Renatus game that looks like a mix of Persona. Oh, and okay, Astral yeah, Fame. yeah, okay, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna pick that because I think that combat looks awesome. I think that I think the art direction looks great and uh, I'm really interested in that game. So when's that coming out? Uh, September 27th, 26th, 27th, somewhere in there. So, OK. Oh, OK. I see it. Got it. Uh, but I think it looks awesome. I think that game looks really cool. It looks it seriously looks like a, a faster paced astral chain with like persona elements in it. Yeah, I looked at it. And it's it definitely has um, more of that Bandai Namco like anime style game, such yeah. as like Scarlet Nexus mm-hmm. or yeah, one of those. Yeah, that's a good that's a good draw point. Mm-hmm. Well, Aron or Stephanie, Stephanie's up. <laughs> Sorry, no worries. Um, I'm also trying to be strategic with this choice here, but I'm going to go with Sonic Shadow Generations. Mm, that's a good pick. Mm-hmm. That first Sonic Generations scored relatively high. So, yeah, Sonic is these guys do really good, mm-hmm. really bad. There is yeah, no yeah. middle on that one. <laughs> exactly. I mean, so far from what it looks like, it, I, I feel like it might do fine, but you're right, Pat. It tends to. <laughs> one or the other so we'll see hmm. well Aron, it's time for you microsoft flight simulator 
24. Yes. Ooh. That's uh that's probably a really safe bet for you. <laughs> it's like, it's it's not only safe, it's ambitious. And honestly, it actually blew me away during the Xbox show. Like this one looks more fleshed out than like last year. Well, last year's was was that last year's or was two years ago? That was two years ago. This one, this one actually, like, there's more things to do in this game. Like, you can be on the search and rescue team. Um, you can, you can, you can do the, uh, do the, do the, uh, the flight stunts and all that stuff. Like, there's so, there's so much, there's so many things to do. And, you know, like, it looks, and it looks phenomenal. Um, of course, um, of course, I'm going off the PC version of it because, like, that's the one that's going to shine, you know? Oh, yeah. You guys are making this difficult. Sorry, Leron. You shouldn't have won last year. Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> you only uh, did it to yourself. Mm. Pat, Sorry, your I'm turn. going. I'm going down swinging. I'm going down swinging. <laughs> Wait, isn't it? Shouldn't he have gotten last place? Because last place com- gets to pick first in the following year, right? Isn't that yeah, how it works? yeah, but well, yeah. Because- Pat, Pat picked because Pat wasn't. Pat picked first right. because Pat wasn't, um, and then Corey was mm-hmm. last place, so Corey technically went second. That's what I meant. Yeah. So anyway, mm-hmm. okay. <clears throat> you should pick Slitterhead. I was looking at that to be honest. <laughs> I don't feel like that's a safe one. No, I don't either. <laughs> that has Come real... on, it's Silent Hill people on it. That has that has real like. Ill bleed Dreamcast vibes to it. <laughs> if you say so. <laughs> no, I will, I'm gonna nab uh, Dragon Age. Ooh, mm. that's a. That, why am I in Stephanie's? Oh, yeah, you could give that to me. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna pick something else that I don't think is really expected here. Um, judging by its showing this summer and how it's kind of drawing me back in for some reason for the first time in probably 10 years black ops six okay looks really solid that looks like it's going to be a high score yeah has there ever been a really bad score in call of duty Mm -hmm. yes Yes. yes. Oh, Last year. Okay. Yeah. Ghosts, <laughs> oh, okay. Modern Warfare 3, both Modern Warfare 3s. <laughs> um, yeah. The Vanguard, I think, was pretty low. Uh, okay. Yeah. All right. Well, hopefully this will turn it around. Actually, I actually think the last Black Ops games was was pretty low, too, which was the Cold, what, Cold War. That was the last one. Oh. Right. Okay. Well, for my number four, I am going to go with Kunitsugami, The Path of the Goddess. Ooh, that comes out soon. I think yeah. there's a demo out right now for that. Yep. Man, remember when that was shown off and everybody thought it was going to thought it was Onimusha? Oh, I got real excited. I thought it was Onimusha. I'm was curious not. as to what it last one, but yeah, so there you go. I, I feel like I have some faith that it'll at least do okay. I feel like your list is shaping up pretty nice. Oh no, this oh no, this pick might be controversial, or this might be this might be my Hail Mary. Super Mario Party Jamboree. No, not that damn controversial. <laughs> <laughs> even though, even though, like, even though like the Mario Party games on the on the on the Switch, in my opinion, have been the best 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 outings. Like I've had I've had more fun with the Mario Party game that's on the Switch than I have on any of the previous ones since Mario Party started. Hmm. Um, but yeah, this this is a controversial pick. Uh, but it's the PC edition for God of War Ragnarok. Cause hmm. in Nixus, we trust. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Interesting. I, I that's gonna score really high though. I I will say that. That's gonna score super high unless there's some sort of so. like crazy frame rate garbage issues, which Nixus's ports usually don't. Yeah, this is a Nixus game. Like like I mean Ghost of Tsushima just came out. That's a Nixus port and uh Woo 
Yeah, if I had only had that on the Metacritic, well, they announced it and then like it dropped, so there was no time for us to like get it on the Metacritic draft. Yep. Sorry, Leron. You, yeah. Anyways, hmm. well, Pat, it's back to you. Yep. Uh, I got two potentials. Oh boy. Which one do I go with? Which one of these? Do I go? Go with your gut, Pat. Well, my gut is saying Life is Strange Double Exposure. Mm-hmm. Oh, interesting pick. All right. I'm pulling the Anakin Skywalker here. I hate you. <laughs> well, you should have grabbed oh, man. it. I, man. I, had, I had other fish I needed to fry first. I, I don't know if I should pick this game or not, but I'm going to anyway, because <laughs> if I don't pick this game, everyone's going to yell at me. I already, I already know what it is. Jamboree. <laughs> Jamboree. Nope. Epic I already know what Mickey. it is. Epic no, Mickey. It is. The, it's the, not the, Epic Mickey. It's, Epic it's, Mickey. It's, it's, Epic Mickey won scored in the low 70s. I'm not I'll, picking that. I'll give you I'll give you guys a clue. It, it, the guy has a whip. Yep. Indiana Jones and the great. Dun, dun, dun. That was that was that was my that dun, was going to be dun, my number five. <laughs> Dun, that dun, didn't dun, show up on my list because yeah. That so didn't... fun fact: Epic Mickey one on the Wii actually didn't score very high. I just liked it because <laughs> it's interesting and has a lot of cool Disney history in it. And Warren Spector is a really well regarded um, ga- uh, game developer. So if he wouldn't have made Epic Mickey, he would still be on the level of like a Ken Levine or a you know. Someone of that caliber. But he's involved in the remaster though. So that's promising. So you know what I'm struggling with my last pick is do I go with a large title or an indie title? Because I want to support my indies, but I feel like I have a higher risk reward with a larger title. You su- you support <laughs> you support whatever's gonna make you win this competition. Yes. Well, see, I don't know either, because this one I feel like could do really well, or it could bomb, <laughs> bomb, bomb, let's put it, and that. Let's put it this way: your um, your Metacritic draft choice does not pay their bills, so <laughs> exactly. you don't have to feel bad about it. Yeah. True. Okay, then I will just go the boring route and pick a triple A game, so to speak, and I will go with the Silent Hill Two remake. Ooh. Okay, <laughs> oh, actually, yeah. that's gutsy. That's gutsy, because yeah. I, mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know on that one. That's that's why I said, mm-hmm. you know, this has a, a, a decent probability it'll that it'll bomb as much as it will do well. Because, you know, now that I picked it, I was going to go with either the Crush House or a Ranger, a role-puzzling adventure, because they're indies, but I feel like they'd be good scoring indies. So, <clears throat> we'll see. Hmm. Or Gory, Cuddly Carnage. I love you, Gory. Yeah, you know, I just realized that uh... I'm looking at a different list, and I just totally forgot that Neba was coming. Oh, well. Mm. Speaking, speaking of indie games, Stephanie, I thought about you the other day because on a podcast I was listening to, they were talking about Choo Choo Charles for like 15 minutes, and I'm like, man, this mm-hmm. is the most I've heard about Choo Choo Charles since Stephanie wrote that review. Yeah, it's, and got like over 3,000 views, so yeah. you know, apparently there's a big following there. It's still getting views. <laughs> Uh, sorry, Lauren. Right, we're delaying uh, your agony. <laughs> sorry, your your fateful final pick, Lauren. The one that's gonna win you the game. Mm-hmm. Hold on a second. Um, I feel like I feel like I missed something here. Do 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 do. What did you miss? Do, do. Besides us. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, ayo, um, ayo. Oh man! Good you times. know what? There was another Life is Strange game. Life is Strange Double Exposure. That's what Pat picked. No. Mm-hmm. Which one? Wait, Pat. What did you pick? <laughs> I picked Life is Strange Double Exposure. No, I thought you said another game. I really thought you said another. Game. Okay, okay. There's two Life is Strange games come out this year, though. No, nope. there's a there's that disc one, but I don't know if that's come. I forget what it's okay, called. Okay, well, you know what, that. you know what, you know what, the hell with it then. Uh, this game is coming out right around the corner. Flintlock. 
Ooh, that game oh, looks okay. good though. Yeah. That's a good pick. I don't know. I it looks it looks good, but I don't know. I don't know if it's an 80 plus scorer. I don't know. I think it might be. I think I think people realize the scope of that game and I think that has a lot Let's to see, do. Let's see who's the developer a, a4 844. They did um wow. It's they, uh, it's published by Kepler Interactive. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they did. A, what was the uh, last game they did? They did something that was relatively well received. Ashen. Yeah, Ashen. Mm-hmm. People loved Ashen when it came out. We'll find out. Mm. This is yeah. this is a nice li- set of lists, guys, because just to go back, I, I forgot who had said it. I don't know if it was you, Pat, but like. In the beginning, when the, we first did part one, like I didn't think I was calling it a backlog year. I really was. In the mm-hmm. beginning, I was like, not a lot of games compared to 2023, which is fine. It'll be my backlog year. And then all the shenanigans happened during Summer Game Fest, Nintendo Direct, like all the June announcements. And now all of a sudden, we have are just chock full to the brim with games for the rest of the year. And I think that's what makes for a very interesting round two of Metacritic. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I'm glad we right. waited till after the summer stuff too. Yep. Yeah. All right, Laurent, I was thinking about your audible call and I will mm-hmm. allow it, but I get to choose the game for you. Ooh. If I pull the wolf among us off there, what's the game you're choosing? Well, you that's no, you can't, you can't know. <laughs> <laughs> you just have to, you have to take a leap of faith here. I feel like I would trust Pat. Yeah. I feel like Pat wouldn't <laughs> Pat's winning. He's not going to try to screw you over. Well, I mean, That's, the chances are the Wolf Among Us too isn't going to be out this year. Isn't so. going to be out this year. That's why I was saying. <laughs> Anything like, I give you, like, it's it's points. it's funny. It's it's funny when you turn around when when you look at this and you're like, usually a Metal Gear Solid game since Metal Gear Solid Three have been delayed. So if like four was delayed, five was delayed. Uh, of course, like uh, Revengeance came out on time, which was which was wild, but then again, Platinum Games made that one. Um, but of course, like like uh, the uh, the the other one, the zombie one, like that was delayed. But they were delaying that because they knew that that was going to be a shitstorm. But Delta didn't get a release date, though, right? So it could but, be released next year. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but Delta is supposed to be shooting for this year, though. Okay. Yeah, it's yeah, like they're like they're trying to get it out this year, um, because I'm not sure I'm not sure what Konami's like fiscal year is supposed to look like. It it does it. I think it ends before like Capcom's and um. And Nintendo's does though. Mm. Um, Pat. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pull Wolf Among Us two off this list. Okay. Do you like James Gunn? Yes. the The director James Gunn. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You are getting lollipop chainsaw, my oh, friend. No, Pat, you're giving him lollipop chainsaw. <laughs> oh no! Well, at least it's coming out this year. <laughs> Oh man! The what, original, um, wait, Live Pop Chainsaw. What is the actual name of this one? Repop. Repop. Yeah. Yep. R E P O P. Okay. Um, I don't know. I feel like the, I feel like I feel like this one has enough nostalgia behind it where that it'll get a score boost. But what's the date of was when is it coming out? I've it's already uh, closed. I've already closed like, the game. I've already closed out the game list, so I don't. I don't know what's 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 left anymore. S- September uh, 25th. Yeah, the day before Zelda. <laughs> hey, watch. Watch it still be like one of your highest performing games around. You never know. I know. That week is know, so busy. Means, I know, which means I, I, I'll i be indebted to Pat for something, <laughs> which is not a bad thing because like Pat's my boy. So, you know, it's not a bad thing. That week is so busy. It's Epic Mickey. It's Lollipop Chainsaw and it's Zelda that week. Ooh, that's yikes. Yeah. Man, good times. <laughs> <laughs>